Welcome back to another video and today with the Model V7 from Rico Magic, which is not an Android TV box, it's not a stick TV, it's a hybrid. Now this is mainly targeted at digital signage, which we have covered here on the channel. Nonetheless, although it's not our target, we will take a look at the performance, how it behaves in terms of multimedia streaming, gaming and so on and so forth, so that we can see the performance of the Rockship 3568, which I was curious to know the performance that it had, and it's a capable sock. So having this in mind, let's go and take a better look at it. Now, if you are watching this on your Windows computer, don't forget to check out KeysFan, just in case you haven't activated yet, you will find budget official or keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen you will get an extra discount. Now it has Android 11, 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of flash storage with the Rockship 3568. In terms of design you will find Ethernet port, gigabit, USB 3.0, the power input and we also have a USB 2.0, the micro SD card slot and a HDMI that supports up to 4K at 30 hertz. Now in terms of the Android itself, it's a clean installation of Android, mobile Android in this particular case, that we can use a mouse and keyboard to control or even a remote control. And regarding the remote control, unlike the other devices that we usually see, this one does not come with a remote included, just a power adapter and a HDMI cable because the target is digital signage. Now we have a clean screen, which to my taste is too clean, but we can always customize. We can even install other launches that we have seen here on the channel. I did a small customization just to be a little bit different. In terms of performance, if we are looking for playing multimedia, then we will be more than fine. I did test it out with Plex MB Cody, no issues at all watching 1080 Blu-ray MKV files over the Wi-Fi, which by the way, has Wi-Fi 6. And if our main target is multimedia streaming, then we will be fine. And this for the digital signage, if we want to use as an advertisement platform, then if I'm able to play MKV files, Blu-ray over the network, then I will be able to play anything that I want, any kind of presentation and so on and so forth. So hopefully this test will help anyone that comes here to the channel to take a look at the specifications and take a look if the machine works or not in this area. If we want to play some games, we will be also able to do so. I did try with Ride, which is a game that we have seen right over here. Really fun game to play. It's compatible with the gamepad that I used, which was the GameSeer G4 and work really nice. Now it will have some limitations as we have seen on other devices similar to this, like for example Netflix, we cannot install the TV version, only the mobile version, which will play only up to SD quality. So this is one of the limitations of this kind of device. In terms of YouTube, 4K without any issues, fluid video playback, no problems at all. And by the way, I was always using the Wi-Fi connection. In terms of speeds, I was able to get over Wi-Fi 6, 300 megabits per second download and 100 on upload. And the Geekbench result was 162 on single core score and 385 on multi-core score. So in conclusion, what we have right over here is a more than capable device for the home entertainment but more importantly if we want to use it as a digital signage device then it's more than capable and in that world is actually a device that has an affordable price if we compare this with other multimedia devices that we can put on our home it has a lot of competition but in terms of digital signage not so much and the last one that we have seen was about twice the price that this one costs and this one will do the job as we have seen and it also has some changes on the firmware side enabled by Ricomagic like for example will allow anyone without having to mess with anything to use the power management tool for example and we can turn on and off at a certain time and similar situations such as this is really easy to rotate the screen small touches that we don't use at home but on digital signage world world is really used but you can find more information down below on the video description hope that the video was helpful in some way that you could know a little bit better about the v7 from Rico magic and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one